Hi guys, welcome back. If you're not used to the garb, I recommend you check out my shorts tab. I don't notify the subscribers when I post my shorts videos because I find it annoying if I notify everybody every day. But this will make more sense. I've been posting a short every day for the last month or so, and I'll touch on that in a second. But I really like making long form content too, and this will sort of be my transition into making better versions of some content that I used to make, including Fly Till I Dies, this time with groups, and with the new background, as well as just a general quality improvement. That's what I try to do. I try to be creative, and I try to bring you guys some quality stuff. I'll let this clip play in the background. It was a very rare opportunity to get a six to seven minute long solo dogfight in what was a full server on Tunisia. If you guys play Sim, you know how rare that is. There is something really important I need to address. Going into this year, we had 13,000 subscribers on this channel after six years of posting. Now you're not gonna see a history of six years because I private a lot of my old videos, but that's how long I've been trying to do this. And I always said that my long-term goal, my, my ultimate goal for the channel, and that the thing I would be happy with if we ever got it there, was 20,000 subscribers. I don't make videos thanking you guys or being sappy, but for me, 20,000 is like the mecca. It's what I've been aiming for. And since we went into this year with 13,000 and it's only March, we're currently 50 subscribers away from 20,000. And I'm confident that if, if we don't hit it tonight, we'll hit it within the next few months. And I really wanna say like, just thank you to you guys. I, I try to reinvest everything, uh, the little bits that I make from YouTube back into the channel. As you can see, I got a camera, I got a mic, I got this, I got all this stuff. But as you guys know, like it all takes time. And the faster I grow, the more views and bullshit that I get, the more funds for like editing software, or maybe one day even a PC. Those who don't know, all this stuff is filmed in a dorm room closet on a PS5 and a camera that I took from my family's house. But I wanted to say thank you. I'm very fortunate to be here. But I don't measure the success uh, by the number on the screen. I, I really do measure it by how happy and proud I am of the content that I'm putting out. Like. There are some videos I put out that I don't personally like and they do well and I'm kind of upset about it. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but I wanna be proud of the things I put out to you guys and all of the support has really allowed me to do that and will continue to allow me to do that. And I hope that we can bring more people into the War Thunder Sim community. And I just ask that anybody who has asked questions by a beginner, either in game or on like a Discord, or just to please be helpful to them. We were all there at one point and I really hope that we get an influx of players. Anyways, I'll shut up. So this was quite a crazy match. As you guys have been able to watch in the background, there was a lot going on. Oh. What the fuck? I didn't flinch, you didn't see that. Anyways, there was a lot going on. You guys can see I got hit by one of these fighters down by the deck. He came in with a lot of speed and burnt it all right here. So I pulled full flaps trying to get him. Probably not the smartest thing to do considering how many aircraft were around me at the time. But I sort of play him like we're in a 1v1. Again, not the smartest thing. I pulled full flaps, was hanging with him a little bit, and now we're just in a right fight on the ground. The thing is that by all means, the G55 should probably get the 109 here. It's gonna take more skill for the 109 pilot to kill me than it is for me to kill this 109. The thing is though, that I'm damaged, and that really is the ultimate balancer in this situation. So I stall out trying to avoid him. If I had seen him below the nose, I probably could have got a shot on there, but I was doing only about 100 knots. And the thing is recently with some of the updates, the wingtip damage has really gone through the roof, and this thing does like to wing stall, especially at slow speeds. Probably should have killed him there as well. So two situations here where I could have got guns on, and that is probably gonna come back to burn me here. So he pulls very nicely. If I had predicted that a little bit better, probably should have put out landing flaps a little bit sooner. They're not gonna rip, I'm flying at 70 knots currently. He's playing this very well. I get a little bit lower, still with full flaps and try to pull into him and he just avoids the gun. Now he's gonna climb over me right now and I'm gonna try my absolute best to get guns on, but he's pulling full flaps, going full engine power, trying to get the nose over on me. And after all of that, we transition back into a rate fight on the deck. Now I am slow and he's significantly faster and you can see him coming around on me, especially after this turn, after I pulled down to 120 knots, you're gonna see how obvious it is that he's gonna win this fight. Especially with that climb right there, he's gonna come at me with speed and try to pull lead onto my nose. So I dump my flaps a little bit, keep combat out, and just try to gain speed instead of constantly trying to pull into him. Both will get me to nose on eventually, but only one will make sure I survive in the long run. So we're still in this fight. As you can see, he's trying to gain speed, really trying to avoid the ground. And as he pulls up here, he's gonna bleed a lot of that speed and I'm gonna commit heavy. Now I'm a little bit hesitant to put out full flaps again, like I was saying before, especially with the damage and with how tight I was gonna have to turn. I was afraid he was gonna go up just like he would like right there. 
and eventually come down on top of me. But full landing flaps here, maybe could have gotten an angle. It had been close. The real issue is that I think my radiator was hit from that first burst he had, and I'm now cooking my engine. This thing's usually really good at keeping the engine cool, but I think the combined effect of the desert and the radiator is just really hindering me. Every second that this dogfight goes on, the less effective I'm gonna be. So we keep just trying to pull into each other. He's doing a really good job of controlling the fight, staying higher than me. And I'm doing a good job of going defensive and avoiding him, but I'm just really unable to get nose on. And after that little turn, he's probably eventually gonna get a hit here. If he comes down with full landing flaps, he should have me in that situation, but he did not commit hard enough. And I'm going inverted, doing 60 knots at what, like 300 feet right here. Um, and I think this is going to be my downfall. Yep, so I'm gonna be completely unable to pull out of that without the engine. And considering he was the one who gave that first damage to me, even though I didn't see him, full credit to the guy. S Jack, seven days in sim, flying fighters, really good pilot. The G55 and the 109 are similar, but I think just because of the strength of the flaps in the G55, I should have had the advantage there. But like I said before, it was really that engine damage that did me in. I hope you guys like this a little bit different. I'm probably not gonna make a ton of these. I kind of just wanted an excuse to thank you guys and to point out a very unique situation in sim. Five to six minute dogfight, completely solo. I guess a really good pilot. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you're a newer subscriber, maybe turn the bell on. If you're still here, I really think you're gonna enjoy what I have in the future. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.